to my channel so in this video we are going to attempt to slay and lay a wig okay this is first time with a lace wig so i wanted to show you guys the braiding pattern that i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do them straight back and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna get into this wig because i am thirsty right now i don't want to wait until i'm done braiding my hair to actually open this wig up and see what it looks like so i got it from amazon and it's from charisma or charisma i'm not sure how to say that i probably butchered it but it's okay oh it came with a cap a wig cap i didn't i went out and bought a wig cap but i guess i didn't even need to because it came with the wig cap which is pretty nice it feels heavy i know it's really long but i'm gonna cut it i don't want no synthetic ass tangled ass mess yet. so i just took off the little nut and wow it's really soft okay it's like really soft it's a little tangled at the end it's not too bad though looks really full oh, let's see so it has two clips and a strap on the back to adjust it so this is how much part and space i have right there i think it's enough it's a pretty okay amount sometimes i like my parts to go kind of far back but this will do <laughs> this is like difficult i didn't know it was gonna be this hard so this is what the part looks like but of course i could part in other places too if i really wanted to the lace doesn't look too bad i feel like if i just add some concealer on it or some powder or something it's gonna blend really good i am gonna pluck these hairs because this lining for me is just it's not as realistic as i would like it to be but yeah so far so good so i'm gonna get to my hair so i can hurry up and get to this i'm feeling like cleo from set it off right now i mean <laughs> i got the straight back to you know <laughs> no i'm just playing but so fucking train man i hate that so we are going to get into this wig i'm gonna put a cap on do i want to put a cap on you guys i have no fucking idea what i'm doing i'm just gonna put on one of the caps that i got from sally's and I'm not gonna glue it down or anything i'm just gonna put this on just so i can see what the lace looks like with the cap on you know so <laughs> this is why people glue it down and cut it huh So I'm just cutting off some of the lace right now just because it was in my way. I couldn't really see past it. And I'm going to go directly into plucking, trying to, you know, finesse this hairline the best that I can. And I was just plucking in random spots. I pluck a little bit and then comb out the hair that I basically ripped off the lace just to see what the hairline looked like because I didn't want to go too far with the plucking. So far, this is how much I, how much hair I've plucked. And as you can see, I still have quite a ways to go. This is the side that I've been plucking, obviously. Right here, you can kind of see it thin and out a little bit versus this side over here. I'm just gonna continue plucking, but I'm most likely gonna do it off camera and I'll come back and show you guys how I'm going to apply it and try to, you know, finesse a little bit of baby hairs, but not too much. I'm Okay, so I got it um, flat ironed and everything, and I put it in a ponytail. So now I am going to cut this, and I'm gonna cut on this side of the ponytail. So I'm just running the flat irons in certain areas where I probably missed the first time. And with this flat iron is not a really good flat iron. So I did have it on high heat and it did a pretty good job. It holds heat well, but I wouldn't recommend putting a really good flat iron on high heat just because it is a synthetic wig. Okay, so now that I pretty much have like a base or whatever for the style that I want, I'm going to take it off and um, clean up the cut. Okay, so um, today is day two. Yesterday I kind of gave up with recording the video because I was getting frustrated with my baby hairs. 
I had laid them real good then for some reason I took off the wig and then I tried to relay the baby hairs and what happened was I was adding more glue and more glue so it's just getting stiff and gunky well more um, got to be glue the gel and I couldn't get the hairs how I wanted them to lay so what I did was just wash the wig and it's feeling nice and rejuvenated so I am going to apply this and show you guys how I did my baby hairs and show you guys the finished result of my cut that I did. So first I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm gonna dip it into this brown eyeshadow right here. And I'm gonna put it on my waist a little bit. Even though I'm not gonna be wearing a part, I just feel like this helps it kind of blend in a little bit. Not too much. And then I'm gonna apply it on the wig. Okay, so I don't have a mannequin head or anything. So, shoot. When I apply it and I did the straps in the back, it made the wig look uneven. So I was sitting there cutting and cutting and cutting. Thank God I didn't cut too much because when I finally realized it and I undid the straps, everything was even. So, if you're having that problem, just don't even strap the back straps. Like, just leave it alone. can pluck it some more but I just got tired yesterday kind of want my roots to be a little dark but not too much so I'm just dipping it into my black eyeshadow and then just rub it in random spots I really didn't want a part with this wig so I just threw it over to the side like this and then I'm gonna try to finesse some baby hairs. And y'all, this baby hair process, this is like the one, it's, it's hard, okay? It's hard to make the baby hairs look good without making it look wiggy. But I am going to try my best to do this and I'm gonna try my best to do it so you guys are able to see it. <laughs> you can call me Ginger, bitch. My name is Ginger, okay? Who is Talisha? Like, who is that? My name is Ginger. No, let me stop. But I am feeling <laughs> real alter ego-ish with this wig on, okay? I can have some fun with this little lady. But her name is Ginger. I decided to name her Ginger, so. So, what I think about this wig, you guys, I absolutely love it. When I first put it out the bag, it looked super, super shiny. And I was like, fuck, I forgot to grab some baby powder but i was planning on using my airspun translucent setting powder but honestly i didn't even add anything it still has a shine to it but it's more of like a healthy look type of shine it doesn't really look fake type of shine it's nice and full i wish i had a razor just to make it a little bit more thin at the ends but you know overall i like how this wig came out it was easy to finesse the hairline a little bit. I feel like I can do more to make it look more natural. But like I said, this is my first time actually with a lace wig. And I actually think I did a very good job. So if you're like intimidated to do this lace wig stuff, it's really not that hard. It just takes time. I'm sorry, if I keep looking over here, my mirror's right here. And Ginger is just like calling me, y'all. The only problem that I have with this wig, and maybe someone can tell me what to do because I don't know what to do, is that my ends are so big, like, I'll show you guys. 
like my wig is all the way down here you can see it's going past my ear and i'm just afraid that if i cut it i'm gonna mess it up and i got it from amazon i'm a prime member so i got it in two days the exact same color that i want it to be it's the exact same wig that they are advertising online yeah so overall a very good company and i'm getting new to this wig thing but i think i'm gonna continue to buy and continue to learn and finesse because i think i did good and ginger might need some company